my ultimate goal is having a successful brand like I could say, yo, this is mine. We used to have the converse them, the American color them. I was really supposed to be Chrome Heart versus Balenciaga, but I just threw something out there. That because my mother was a known dressmaker in a Jamaica. American fashion ain't far from Jamaican fashion. Jamaican fashion ain't far from American fashion, isn't it? It's been a long time coming, you know, I appreciate you. For yeah, man, I want to tell you, I remember, you know? so we don't have the, the little conversation from well, uh, Russell's? Yeah, it was a Russell's. Yeah, so we just have to do the thing the right way, isn't it? Me? Definitely, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man, what's going on here? All right. Um, I'm supposed to host like two, two shows next week coming up in New York and Jersey. Yeah. So I do the thing same way, you know? Hosting and thing and thing. It look mighty spiffy today though, I like it. Yeah, tire. you know, say, it's a, like a trendy type of beat now still, is it? It's like a formal ties, hat, you know, it's a New York little thing now, is it? So we have to just bring the culture all over, is it? Nice, so, natural, natural. Yeah, you yeah, know the thing go. So, um, yeah. start with a thousand? Yeah, man, we'll kick oh. it off right away, man. Like, we'll start, oh, we never know, we never know, we never know. So, they're gonna kill me for this question, but you know, like I want to start from the beginning. Yeah. As far as like your early days, your youthful days. Yeah. Can you share some memories of some fashionable people that kind of inspired you when you were like younger and your youthful days? Oh, for sure. Um, so younger days, basically everybody know me in the community as a little dancer. You don't know everybody, every little. Um, feta keep fear everything when in the community I meet them call you get me with few others still but yeah it's like you have this guy who named broke up coming out of the famous um, music video um, with Buster Rhyme he used to live on my street Milk Avenue so um, yeah they had this um, this style back in the day when you wear like tear up clothes like you know them type of tear up clothes eh? as a dancer you wear tear up clothes they don't know say it's like an image wise like so it started from this so but before all of that me have to say my mother because my mother was a known dressmaker in a jamaica she usually make like almost everybody like wedding dresses like two-piece suits for, for, for man you know me, I say uniforms and stuff. So she always like make clothes to me and put it on, neat cut, everything. So everybody used to like them something there. So I guess that's that's where switch party actually start from, isn't it? Me? So yeah, I'll so, say that. Wow, so your mom was a dressmaker. Yeah. Mm, and broke yeah. up, broke up. Uh, broke dancer. up, flavor, flavor. Yeah, I yeah. remember broke so, up still. The roots are come from we out, you know me, I say? Yeah, so we are learned from the best, we see the best. You know me, I said, so we are doing it, we get inspired by a lot of people, Sly and Robbie, you know, Sly and Robbie used to live on Milk Avenue too. Yeah. You know me, I said, so. yeah, so, that's where it starts from, you know? Can you remember what age, like, that you kind of got the thought process to say, you know, well, all right, I'm going to take more consideration on my appearance and how I, you know, how I present myself as far as, like, can you remember what age, you know, that um, was? To be honest with you, from Mastago Prep School, um, like, our prep school was a Christian prep school, a uh, New Hope Prep. You know me I say? So everybody have to just, uh, everybody have to look very, very neat, because they're strict like that, you know me I say? So from them time there, my mother make sure, no say, everything have a clean cut, everything, both have a clean from the night before, you know what I mean? I say we have to get ourselves together, uniform, iron, hang well up. Pressed. You know them style, yeah. you know what I mean? I well say? Pressed, so, well yes, in the morning time, we wake up, we have a teeth brush, face wash, neatness is just a lifestyle, you know what I mean? So, from at a tender, tender age like that, yeah, me have to say, yo, yeah, from prep school days, we have to look presentable because Prep school is a thing where it's, it's not just like reading and learning, it's just like a whole everything, like a complete stuff, like them teach you how to be like a presentable person going out there, because you never know who you can meet, you know what I say? Definitely. And for correction, it's not Sly and Robbie, it's Dave Kelly and Junior Kelly, you see me? Okay, yeah. okay. Shout out to Dave Kelly. Yeah, and Junior shout out to Milk Avenue, you know the thing already, boom. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I don't know, I'm trying to pull your memory here. Can you remember, like, that first, like, outfit that you had that, you know, like, that you say, well, or even a first pair of sneakers yeah. that sticks out in your memory? All right. We used to have some anti wear. We usually, you know, bring down the stuff them like you don't know barrel time because you know them style at like Christmas time and them something there. so me never really understand the American you know me I say like certain type of brands and stuff so me don't know people used to bash certain type of brands like the Airwalks and them type of brand and them something there. so when right. them thing they come down me usually I say what is them I bring come give me I don't know nothing about this a travel fox and, and clocks and them something they know about the Patrick you in them when you pump it up and the, the, the Scotty Pip in them and them something there. Right, right, where you right. go with Airwalk I that me I say to myself but me I say wait some unique bodies I like when I get something and I never see nobody really in it, so I used to embrace it even though I never know it was and I know people are going to laugh off at it because you don't know how to get to that. You know when everybody family come down here, you know, at them time there, you know everybody want the latest set of things them and the, the most fashionable set of things them. But me didn't like my ear walk them because it looked like the vans and them something there. When I put it together, everybody I say, what are those? You know what I say? And you don't know what we need. So with that, ear walk was the thing, but me growing up, we just say converse. Okay. Like, you see, when we are teenagers and you don't know, we are youth where we go all bought in a East Kingston from Backbush, Jarrett Lane, everywhere. We used to have the converse, them, the American color, them, the, 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 the you know, them red stripes red, and red, white, the stripes and stripes and things. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have this tailor with the end of the community. I say, all right, oh, we can stand out when we are go like the year to year, like the, the end of year event them, because you don't know pound for pound that I have Oliver Road. You know, I say, we have the skate land thing, you know, stress free and them something there. So, I always wonder what we can do for like stand out from the rest. So, we get some US color kerchief we did for much. The US color converse. Okay. And then we just tell, tell the, the tailor, say, here what? I want you to make a long sleeve button up shirt. Yeah. In the US color for match that, and then with the game on my jeans pants them now for cut up for like stitch the US color in the stitches them. So when everybody see what I go on, them see say, oh, okay, all right, I eat that. So from there, so the reception I get from it, me I say, wait, them like my style, all right then, I gotta continue to do it. So I get more confident now for God, you know me I say, do my thing. Doing my own way, I never have fallen on a body style or nothing. Right. I just I do my thing and people just love that. And I just continue it up, from, up till this day, you see me? So you're so. saying that basically um, the influence that your mom had as a dressmaker, yes. um, it kind of, kind of saw its way through you. Where yes, definitely. You kind of were able to take that um, experience and put it into your style and definitely. create your own. Definitely. Cool. I want you to talk about... Um, you know, how you got your name Dangles and speak to how you got into dancing. Okay, all right. First, I'm going to say, oh, I get the name. I know if you hear about this famous selector Jamaica name, Gary Chucks. Yeah, man, no, Gary. yeah, man, Gary Chucks. First, me used to name Prada because a beer Prada me used to wear. Them time they T.I., Lil Wayne, and them type of people, like 2006, 2007. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me used to wear beer Prada, but Gary Chucks I say, yo, where you go with them foreign names there? Because I don't know, Dirty Friday was a big, big thing where everybody all over the world used to buy the DVD them and watch and them type of stuff there. You see me, I say. Right. So Gary Chunks one day, Gary Chunks tell me, say, yo, you don't know name say no more, you know? Because mm -hmm. when you dance with the girl and when you dance, you know, your foot them just a dangle up, you know, ray, 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 lula, lay. <laughs> and everybody they run, shelly belly, everybody, you know, the whole community them time they was, you know me, I say? Yeah. They must say, yo, I like that name there, you know? And then around them time they know with their party, the RDX them know. So RDX them say, yo, we're not going to work with, you know, the Prada thing no more. Dangles you're going to name, you know. So it start, really start from Gary Chucks, you see me? And then everybody like say, yo, that name the fit here, you know. That name the more in the dance hall world, because right. the name Prada was just a fashion thing, you know what I say? Correct. Even though me they are dance same time, but yeah. Gary Chucks, big up yourself, yeah, that name there, yeah. Uh, you do it, but can't hide that, you see me? And uh, all my starting a dancing, it go back to 
broke up and flavor flavor okay because broke up usually come from as we say cm road milk avenue <coughs> and flavor flavor come from magarga gully that are up like you know me as i go back them side eh? yes yeah. so at them as a little youth sorry me used to see i go all over a place and i dance and me say I like this. And then as I tell you about the fashion thing where it started, them used to see like cut up clothes. Them time they a cut up khaki clothes used to wear and them type of something there with them tie and them something I'm always fascinated by that, you see me? Yeah. And I say, yo, I like this and then you don't know the female them used to love them off. You don't know cause they are dancer, you don't know female love you off and them something. There. So me, me intrigued by it. So I say, wait. And I say, alright then. I used to go out, see them a dance, mash up the place, and, and I say, yo, I want to do this. You know what I say? And then I have some family now, which for flavor, flavor come from. And them used to dance as a little, 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 little picnic like myself, too. And I say, all right, I go follow that. I follow them, because you don't know a family thing and thing. And as so comes now, I start dancing. I can't forget when them call me up on stage at Kelly Roof that a winner road bottom right beside right across from the police station. And I may I tell you say this youth named Richard, we used to know the, the group named Hypnotic, but at that later down. Right. And we we'll go up on the stage with Richard and I may I tell you say yo when we start moved. You see me I said the old people love it and I say yo this more I do from that day. Yeah. I mean, I tell you, say, yo, even though I venture off and do other stuff, because you don't know what, we can't just do dancing alone, you know what I say? But uh, from this, uh, as a little youth, I know, say, yo, this more I do, you see? Right, right, right. Yeah, which is right. So, you would have seen the likes of Ding Dong and Sing Sample Six. Yeah, man. They started to take dancing to higher heights and started to travel. And you were, you know, to my understanding, you were a part of the, the, that time and that genre and that era where you were part of a group also, correct? Correct, correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, we used to be a part of a group. Well, Ding Dong, as you know, come from East Kingston too. I yeah. come from, you know me I say before him was an artist, he was a dancer. Correct. You know me I say, they everywhere, just like myself, yeah? Yeah, and yeah, we used to see in our group first, me, the first group I used to see in our was a group called Hypnotic. Yeah, Hypnotic was one of the biggest group at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big up Frost, big up Xander, and big up Richard. You don't know, was a four away. We used to take on everywhere. And you have this selector, known selector, we just play on squash named Little Richie now. Mm -hmm. Little Richie bust with to the world, make everybody know it. I don't know if you know this dance group at the time named Active Dancers. Yeah, I know you know, I said active. them time they. Um, black blingers, them just a come come from Spanish town, a come come at um, them time. Then it wasn't Dirty Friday at the time. It was Pasa 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 was the main ground, mm -hmm. and then after Pasa Pasa we usually go up on Weddy Weddy Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes, so Little Richie, you know, we are the only group from East Kingston a go west. You don't know, say a Tivoli Guard right there up on Spanish town. We was the only East Kingston man. We used to left from this and go down this and Little Richie used to say, yo, them you are bad, you know? And we used to have a dance named Human Gun. You know what I say? That dancer usually take over the whole place and a dancer make a lot of people know from them time. Them time I got school in you. I don't know. Yo, I just a do it because I love it. You see me I say, yeah, but you yeah. don't know me. I'm a bigger cousin them we seen at the group. Zander and you don't know we have Richard and we have Frostman, which was the group leader at the time. Them man they used to bring we up, but even though we are dance from them time, but at them time my sister yo, the thing gets serious. So Hypnotic was the group we really, really put we out there and big up to Little Richie. You don't know the thing already. You hear that? Oh. Right, right, right. So I want I wanna kinda of wrap it around and to how you migrated from Jamaica and yeah. were able to come to foreign. Yeah. It was dancing, correct? Dancing, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. You have, you have like a, a scenario on how, how that came forward, like? Okay then, all right. So in a 2006, I'll say to 2009, is like them three years, between those three years time, I have my own group, LA Squad, you know, consists of a few of us. Some of us all over in the States now, a right. few of us still there, Jamaica, you know what I say? And between those times, it's like we never go hard, we never sleep one day, 
365 days of the year, we're out. Nothing to miss we. Because we are promoting ourselves. We want the, we want the world to know we. And at the time, it was the peak of Dirty Friday. So basically around them time there, big up dance or reggae that comes scrappy. And you put out to the world, so we have to make scrappy. it be known. Yeah. You know what I say? So scrappy was the one we scrappy used to motivate us. we. You know what I say? Scrappy yeah. was the one we used to motivate me, because I see the potential. I see how far we can go as a group as a dancer, because at the time, dancing was at the forefront. Everybody had travel. You have Sadiki, you have Shelly Belly, you have Ding Dang, you have Black Blingers, you have the Cadillac crew. You have so many crews at the time, you get me access. So we did just then to come up at that time. And I tell you, I go hard as till, till. It's like every time a DVD come up, they're on the front of the, the DVD them. So everybody used to fly down from foreign Europe, England, everywhere. For just to come see we are dance at Dirty Friday, you get me I say? So at that time, you don't know promoter start coming now, promoter want to book you for shows and them type of stuff there. Right. So you don't know, so we have to work out documentation, we have to work out this, we have to work out that. You know me I say, get the bookings and all. So, so from this to now, everything start now, I start fly from 09, mm -hmm. do my first show, uh, Brooklyn, yeah. I think it was a Slack Wednesday show December the 2nd, 09. Can't forget. Vivid, you can't forget your memory. Yeah, you can't forget <laughs> your first fly now. Right. Yeah, it's when I'm bridging them. Um, we named Chubby Mad them. Him keep that show there. Yeah, big up to yourself, to you. Yeah, we do that show there. That show there was very, 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 very good. Now I'm not going to lie to you from my first show. You don't know God back bust me. I go up and played. Yeah. Them time, you know, them time, they were there at Jamaica, I don't want to know nothing about playing because we have everything I had, you see me? Yeah. But around them time, they will fly. We are say, yeah, we'll give thanks, work, I put in. First show keep, then a next, a second show keep again. And I say, yeah, it are going good. So the back and forth, they are going good at the time. And then we'll get booked for show in a Connecticut year. I think the first show we do a Connecticut was in Bridgeport, I think. I can't forget, but yeah, Bridgeport and Waterbury, big up to Jokey Blacks too. Yeah. And also big up to Bill Blacks, cause Bill Blacks was one of the dancers them well, well, was the dancer, well, is the dancer where everybody at Jamaica knows. So we have to big up to Bill Blacks. You see yeah. me? Yeah, that yeah, is facts. Can't go around that. You see it? Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, man, yeah man. Big up Bill Black. And Bulls, Bulls, um, Bulls, Bulls Bully. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, Bulls, yeah. you're the real G2. You can't forget them you there. Never. And yeah. So that are your early days. Early days, yes. Yes, nice, yeah, nice. early days. So do you remember like transitioning from Jamaican fashion and coming here to the States and you know what it was like what the difference was and how how did you adjust towards it? Or okay. Was it the same? All right, you see. Excuse me, you see, Jamaica fashion and, and, and American fashion, I would say them, them like different because Jamaicans know if they adapt to any type of style, any type of flavor. If them see what go up on TV, they would adapt it and do it in their own way. Even if they not have the real set of things, then they kind of orchestrate some different type of thing and it looks similar. So we always have a pride in that, you see me, but for me, it's like, me have my style, more the same I get inspired by, by people. I get inspired by everyday life itself. If I see you in an outfit like that, I say, yo, you know, so that set your bad with the easies there. And you see me, I say, I have to do the same thing, yeah. but it just resonates in me. And I say, all right, then I eat that. So my style from Jamaica to here, but then to know is like, I always have an originality about me. You get me, I say, cause you don't know my mother. She's a lady where do the dressmaking thing, so me always have their own clothes. You get me, I say? And me a man who always like, me don't know, me don't know if I, me don't know what, but it's like something I always drawn to. It's just my thing that dancing was my love, was my first love, but the fashion thing, it just come natural. Me yeah. not try hard, me not try, me just do what I feel like, you see me, I say, it's like, DNA. yeah, it's yeah. like a spirituality thing to me. If me not feel for just a certain way, you're going to see me in some sweatsuits or whatever. If you see me on next, you, me can't have one, one liner like, like a this you're going to know me as. You're so you, have see me in diverse, a diff, you have a diverse, you have a diverse. A diverse, exactly. Yeah, you're going to see me today in a this, next day you could have seen me, you not even know say me, you pass me, you not know say me. So basically, 
Then, and then when you come out America now, American fashion is like high fashion. Basically, it's like luxury. Everybody just like into the Gucci's, the Prada's, the Fendi's, the Burberry's, and all them type of stuff there. Don't get me wrong, I like those type of things, but that, that's not me. Mm -hmm. I'll wear it, but I don't mean that. I'm not going to differentiate my life if I say, all right, luxury brand and my thing. You have to, you have to mix up your thing, them like you have mix cool ladies, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you have yeah. to go with the H&M, them. them. You have to go with the Forever 21. Because exactly. they got dope stuff. I yeah. just, you have to just pick the pieces. It's all about pieces, you get me I say? So, me that say, Jamaica fashion and American fashion, the only difference is, is luxury. Even though they have a lot of Jamaicans now in the luxury, them, even though if a China had come from Arawa, Big up to them, them are them thing. <laughs> no, me have to keep it a hundred, you get me I say. Yes, yeah, so me now go say Jamaican can do it better than the American, but you have a lot of Jamaican fashion where turn up said we you have a whole heap of Jamaicans where I do it even who live here now. Yeah. Them are do it big time. So yeah, I will say that American fashion ain't far from Jamaican fashion. Jamaican fashion ain't far from American fashion, isn't it? So you mentioned you did mention um China, made in China wear. Yeah. Um, and I've noticed a significant uptick in yeah. counterfeit items. Yes. What's your opinion on? To be honest with you, I mean, a lot of people are going to think I'm going to left with this, but everything, everything when it comes to garment made from China. You get me? I say, even the luxury brands make their clothes from China. The other day, I watched a documentary with Off White, um, Virgil Albo, rest in peace. He made his stuff, well, he's um, Air Force, you know, you know them Off-Whites, the Off-Whites yeah. brand, the Jordan Off-Whites. I was watching a documentary with it. I think each sneakers that was made in China was like for 20 cents mm -hmm. for each pair. And they're selling for thousands of dollars right now. Right. And that's like one of the, the core sneakers right now where everybody like want to be in a. So with that being said, all brands, even the even the, the the Instagram brands right now that's coming out right now, they have their manufacturers in China. So basically everything coming from down there because at the end of the day is you want to see a profit. So basically each clothes where you make, it's cheaper to make down there and you can put value on it here because China have good quality too. So you have a thing called grade A, grade B, grade C. You get me I say you have the top replica, you have the Yalmasan, you have the Yizime. And most of the, the brands make their stuff from certain manufacturers and then certain type of materials leave and then they kind of make them own thing and sell it type of different like online and those type of stuff. All right, Dangles, all right. I'm just I'm saying. Gonna, I got to give you some pushback. Up. All right, sir. We're just right, break right. it up to you. I understand the yeah. breakdown. What is your opinion, though, on it? All right, because so my opinion now. Me as a man, I don't really dwell into luxury things. You get me, I say. Me as a man, I only buy pieces. So I'm not going to really go down go buy nothing on, on, um, on the, the website, them, whatever, whatever. I'm going to try to be as core as possible. So me wear a Zara, then me go in at the Louis store go buy my Louis blowy boots. You get me? I say I just my thing that me not go buy nothing from China from head to toe. But now I go do that something there. Me try to incorporate my thing. So you say you mix and match? Me mix and match this. Okay. The leather your people are things here some top thing. This is from Minimal. Big up on yourself is a California brand. Yeah, you don't know. This, we are the fit check now, yeah. So this is at the Louis Boots, yeah, you don't know. No, this Azara, this a Express, the shirt is basically H&M, and you don't know me have the access, the, the chroma accessories them. So basically, me just mix and match my thing. Me not really have to dwell in the Chinaman thing. You know me I say, can't really my style that, yeah, but I just saw it go. We've all, we've all at some point purchased a counterfeit item. Can you recall like purchasing something that you thought was authentic yeah, man. and then it, it happened to be counterfeit? Yeah, man, everybody fall victim to that game. Man. One time ago, New York and 
them I do some card means I always go like the what you call it now, like the you know, like the sneaker cons and those type of stuff. Yeah. Like everybody uh, vendors sell them stuff like places like this, but maybe bigger or whatever, whatever. Yeah. And may I tell you the honest truth, my buy one off white is an off white way we come out. Um, I think they had 50 styles, like fifth, like one to 50, mm -hmm. like the strap, strap up one them. And me buy my me buy my 50s a block with some um, lavender at the bottom here. Thought it was real because nobody now that no, you can't know if it's real or not. Maybe by smell. You know what I say? And a man, a man, I'm not gonna tell him that a man chop me. Me things say real and come to find out, my carry go um, at the sneaker, the sneaker um, store in a New York round two and they tell me that it was counterfeit but that shit look like grade A like next level thing you'll never know if the original people them who can check his thing them can know say that yes yeah, some get chopped by that before yeah well the only thing that in what I would say um, with counterfeit pieces and yeah. with authentic pieces yeah. I would say it's a difference in quality at times yes they all are being made in China yeah. but um they're being authenticated and they're taking their time so when let's say a louis bags made in yeah they'll probably put it together in china but it's yeah. going to italy and they're mm -hmm. going to go ahead and make sure that there's no imperfections mm -hmm. and then they're going to be able to put their stamp and their seal on it so that's a bit different on it but you know to each their own, I don't, you know. Yeah, to each their own, but you don't know it's still coming from down there. Yeah, we understand so everything of a, you know what I say? Organize, everything of the look the part, the smell of the right before it can actually go out. But the core, basically the core is, and a lot of people don't want to accept it, everything is from there. Mo Zara, one of the richest men in the world, and theme thing them made from Indonesia and down China. Right, right. So, what does a normal day look like for you? Like, are you normally in, I don't know, I don't want to say character, but are you normally dripped out every day or, you know, what's a normal day for you? Well, a normal day for me is like, like how you dress in comfy, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, you showed me up today, man. No, 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 you, you it's an interview, so, you, you know what I say? I respect, have to respect look it. the part, because you don't know, when we say we are do something, we are do it. Yeah. But a normal day for me, I, I like dress cozy, you get me I say, sweats. A regular day, you see me. Sometimes, me as a man, I don't really have no preference. I don't like to see me I try to impress anybody or nothing. Sometimes you see me here, you see me in one little white shirt, and one little shorts, and my slippers. Sometimes you see me barefoot. Probably I wonder what do him, if he's mad or what. You see me, I say, me I just grow, basically when you see me in a, in a like barefoot, I'm grounded. You get me, I say, get the sun, the energy. And that's another topic still. But as I say with a question, a normal day for me, I just dress how I feel. So, yeah. I know that, you know, you, well, we spoke before and, you know, I know that you kind of started to attend Fashion Week. Um, do you remember or recall the first time going and what, what brought you there? Okay, so in a 20, 2020 before Corona, that's my first time going to Fashion Week. You know, um, I have a lot of a lot of friends. I have a lot of friends actually who who involve in those type of events and stuff, and they always like like trying to invite me to go to Fashion Week from even before 2020. But I never like my always. I put it off. I don't know why my always. I put it off. Like all of my friends, I must say, yo. You're talented in you know, the fashion thing, you never know. You can be big in it, you can go places in it. And, and I've seen it too. I've seen a lot of people who's getting rich off this. You know what I mean? Right. So me I say, all right then, let me see what I go on. I know I'm nothing for lose. You get me, I say, me do it in a dancing already. Why not just transition in something else? Me already fashionable already. Right. So why not just take it like a business? You know what I mean? I say, there's a lot to learn in it, and there's a lot will come with it. And me as a man, I have my morals, so I'm not gonna really go in depth in a certain things. However, 2020, I say, all right, me I go fashion week. I go fashion week as I reach, I just see beer camera start turn on me. Once you look fashionable and you look presentable, 
people are going people don't even care if you use a model if you use a artist if you use a celebrity or whatever once you de- once you're in that that like that surrounding and you look fashionable they're gonna start take pictures and then it's a way of networking try to know people try to know stylists try to know you know what i mean try right. to know models try to know the peoples in the agencies and stuff because me just going out there by myself doing it it's not gonna work you just you gotta have a team network you gotta have a core you have, a, you, have, you have your network. So yeah, when we go 2020, my experience, my experience, uh, a, a lot of stuff. I have to know all these stuff I just mentioned. And then I met this photographer. He like, I tried, I, I schooled me in a, like certain things. And yeah, we went to a few shows down there in 2020, but then Corona started. So that was just like a downhill back. Right. So it's like 2020, the momentum was building. And then after the fashion week, everything went back down because as soon as fashion week, it was Corona. So it's like 2021 was, I'm like, eh. 2022, I'm like, whatever. I'm just a build my thing from the social media platforms. Like go here and there events with few, like, you know me, I say create, um, creatives like myself. Yeah. And other than like the, this year yeah this year 2024 in february that's when i went back down there um i went to the imu model agency casting um i did a few shoots with a few photographers down there i met tons of um fashion creatives like myself uh i did a lot of went to a lot of pop-ups that i was invited to um yeah I, i'll say that it was it was a it was a great experience down there in um, February past. So yeah, I, I saw the pictures. You know, definitely you have a, a knack uh, for fashion, and um, you know I do appreciate your style. Um, respect, respect, brother. Speak on sometimes when you you second guess an outfit, especially like going to the fashion week. You know, yeah. you carry out a bungalow clothes or whatever. You know, how do you deal with you know going to an event and you, when you you're looking at you know you, you see that the end results and it's not what you you th- think that you. All right, honestly, me I'm all right. See, when me address is like it's not like a planned thing for me. People may be like, oh yeah, you capping or whatever, but. Yeah, for me, it's like I'm in a mood, and then the first thing I see in my closet, I just started off with that. Same with today. I take like seven minutes to get this together. No cap. I see the pants, I say, all right then. And each time you see a piece is what you like, and you say, yo, this you go wear, it's like ideas coming in your head, like, all right, my have that tie here. You kind of have a little brown thing about it. Right. All right then, boom. Going out of the closet, all right, I'ma just, I'm just start grab, I'm just start grab. So yeah, I'll say to, to, to like for me, is like getting ready or picking out items and stuff, it's just, it just come natural for me. So if I pick out a shoes first, I'm just gonna go with the shoes. If I pick out a top first, I'm just gonna go with the first. So anything that I pick first, that's what I go with. It takes nothing. And um, for fashion week, I brought like 15 outfits, to be honest with you, it was a hell, it was a lot of stuff that I brought. And um, yeah, I just pull out pieces and then when we just spread them all over the place, I just like pick, pick here and there and everything just come together and that was it. So it, it, it's, it's easy for me, very, very easy for me. What do you think is the difference between wearing an item and styling an item? Okay, wearing an item is basically just like, wearing it but all right for instance for me because like i'm a fashionable person so wearing an item and styling it i'll say wearing an item like this is just wearing the hat wearing the 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 the, the jacket no accessories and no glasses no nothing that's just wearing an night wearing the outfit Styling the outfit, you, you put your glasses on, your earring on, your accessories on, you know what I mean? Your, your tie on, everything on. So to me, that's the difference between styling and just wearing something. Wearing something is like, okay, yeah, this is nice, and I'm just wearing it. Like for a fashion person, they want to like, 
not say overdo it but just like to bring bring it out like so people could actually see more you know right, yeah right, 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 right. can you speak um to a time where your fashion sense wasn't accepted to be honest with you brother i i i can't tell when somebody don't accept it it's like people who don't know about the style right they laugh first and i get that a lot in hartford sorry hartford but i gotta say yeah get a lot of bashing in the art for some of the stuff them i'm aware yeah and then a year after the same persons who laughing at it they be in it and i'm like yeah me understand i'm not really uh, you know me i say me not gonna really like oh try to hate but i always have it in my mind and like yo you'll find out soon because they always do it me do it with the stock pants me do it with the oversized pants me do it with the yeezys me do it with the off whites i mean i talk about from 2017 you get me holy for them something them do them laugh them i say what kind of alien boot them them have on him <laughs> have on what kind of this what kind of that but me just keep myself within because me know what me i do me know say yo other else states and elsewhere accept what me i do so if one place don't accept it, that's fine. Like, we're not gonna understand it afterwards until we move on to something else. Well, that's cool though. Well, for me, um, I look at fashion as an art. So mm -hmm. it's just the way you express yourself. And, Basically. You know, you paint your picture, you know, in a we are way. Art, we all are all artists, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. Nothing so, wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So if somebody a laugh I'm from me, fine. We can continue to laugh. We still got to do me. So, do so, you get me and say? So what's your ultimate goal? Like, all right, in, 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 in the yeah, fashion business? Yeah, it, all right, so. What do you want from it? My ultimate goal is actually it, it's a lot of things, but I could give you a few. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, I, I want to be a celebrity stylist, like to style celebrities on actually doing like videos, music videos, award shows, um, all that styling, even athlete too, because that's another thing. Yeah, a lot of athletes start doing runways now, so that's another thing that I want to venture into. You know what I mean? I want to be a muse in terms of like modeling for certain brands, like black owned brand, because you got a lot of black owned brand on Instagram now that's doing an amazing job. It's called streetwear fashion. So I want to be a muse in that too. But my ultimate goal is having a successful brand. Like I could say, yo, this is mine. That's the ultimate for me right there and build upon that like you know what i mean just like just for sure some people back home in a jamaica say yo no matter where you come from i could have in the garrison the gutter we can come out brush off yourself and do the best things in our life once you just put your mind towards it is me so that are one of the ultimate things that me want to do still when it comes to fashion is me definitely i would definitely encourage anybody out there to go ahead and check out his page he has um heat wave closet you know, underscore dangles, triple nine underscore. Check him out always, you know, like he's always, he's fashion forward. Respect you know. that. Um, gonna move on from the questioning, you know. Um, I got, got a, it's a, it's a little, it's kind of like a game. Yeah. And it's called This or That, yeah. right? So I'm gonna name out a few things and yeah. uh, a few brands and you let me know uh, all right, what you boss. think. All right, my boss. All right. So, and it's no right or wrong answer. All right, it's just boss. whatever right. you feel, yeah. all right? Uh, so, all right. It's not even a brand for this one. The first one, online shopping or in stores? And online. Why? why? Online is a variety of stuff. Like, to be honest with you, like in stores, it's cool, but because it's like, I'm not going to try for Braga or Bosa or nothing, but it's like, I'm on a certain level right now, but I'm not going to even get in the, what me really want, I'm not going to get in the store them. So it's like, I've been shopping online crazy since lately, and even like 2017 coming up, yeah. But you don't know, we still have a mix and mingle, you know me I say, big up to all of the clutch of them out there, you know the thing, we know where I go left, but you don't know, 
You don't know everybody have to do them things. So He's we have to buy about from the boosters. Yes, the boosters. We can't forget about them because you don't know the thing go already. Them have them bring the stuff, them come, we like what we like, we get what we get, and we we'll move on. But online thing I wait there right now because me we know certain brands, know certain like black owned black owned streetwear businesses and stuff. But now I go get them type of clothes in at the store. You know me I say, and when we go out, me don't want to look like everybody else, you get me? So online shopping I wait there. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, there are going to be people in the comments section, and I'm pretty sure the viewers are going to say. It's okay. Uh, they're going to uh, say, you just don't know the right places to go because. Um, I like that, Tina, brother. Yeah. When I see women are going there, bro, I swear. All right. Because so me as a man, I know whole heap of boosters, and me as a man, I go up on the road with them to more times, so them care me go everywhere, bro. I'm keeping it a buck, so if on the day in the comment section, so I don't know where to go. Well, I don't know, because I've been there, bro. All right, moving on. Style or trend? Style. Why? Style is forever. Definitely. Trend is basically temporary. You get yeah, it's me? It's a fad, definitely. So, if you have your style, you can't go wrong. Don't say you can't mix style and trend because me's a trendy guy now, don't get it wrong. But style is everything. Once you have your style, it's, it's a form of individuality. You, you, that can't go wrong, no time. So, style. Zara or Banana Republic? All right, that's a tricky one. Because Zara, well, Banana Republic is like a Zara now. Banana Republic was the, was the store back then, like a Zara. But for me, you can't, you can't get me. Zara, I'm a place, brother. I'm not going to And certain things in Zara, too. Because I'm not going to just go in a Zara and take up anything. No, I'm not going to do that. But Zara, I'm a place. Zara is a place where... I'm not going to lie to you, brother. It's like they made it for me. Spring fashion or fall fashion? Both. Both? Yeah. Okay. Because I can layer up. I love layer. I don't know why. Layering, you get me I say? Yeah. So I'll say both. Okay, okay, okay. All right. This is your preference now. It's not for me. Um, uh, we're going to go... Summer wear or winter wear? Winter. Okay. Yeah, I know me a Jamaican and Jamaican not for like cold, but yeah, winter. Cause I say layer up. I like when, me, you know me I say, just gear, you know me I say, gear style. But summer you just uh, t-shirt and you know, everybody can do that. You know me I say? So yeah, winter, definitely. And the final one, I will go with Chrome Heart or uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? I'm gonna go Chrome Heart or Javinci. Chrome Heart. Why? And honestly, I don't even is a fan of Chrome Heart clothing because everybody in it. It's accessories. Me. It's just the accessories, bro. Accessories is next level, man. People, yo, people should be getting into accessories because that's that's what makes the outfit. You know what I mean? You can't have a bad, nice outfit from the biggest brand, them, you know? But you see the accessories, are that are going to bring on the outfit. I'm going to talk about the outfit where I have the big Gucci Yasso and the big Louis V. That, that is not swag, bro. Like, honestly, you get me and say? Yeah, I'm going to just find on the style. I'm going to knock on for wear it. But I want to like, you know what I mean? I say? But yeah, I'll definitely say that. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, yeah. yeah. Give me like five minutes, you mind? Give me a pause? Okay. okay. Take a pause real quick. Pause? Uh, yeah, pause. Yeah, man. You want water? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Definitely take a water. Yeah. Yo, Authentic, give me five minutes. Give me a water, please. I appreciate you, my bro. Give me a water, please. Huh? You can have somebody Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Yo, my apologies. Kira, come here real quick. Yo, your iPad, it just, it, it started to get the um, keys to go down. 
the keys. Oh, we are going on people, be honest. It are going good. So far. Uh, I don't want to see that. Get the keys though. Yeah, yeah. we're off and do it. <laughs> we, we're off and do it. Me is a man talk Thank facts. Thank you. Thank me, you. Can't, me can't sugarcoat. Nah, no. you definitely. Yo, Dangles, you're a carry, man. You're a carry. I appreciate you. Yeah, man, I can't sugarcoat. I have to get an uh, interview, man. You know, the thing, man. Yeah, man, we want it. Eat it, brother. Now, I just, yo, I apologize. The, the, Lap, the computer kind of froze. No, man, you're good, it man. It wasn't even supposed to be chrome. You're going to you go cut it up and there. do what you need for the one. No, nah, we're going to cut it. Oh, nothing. no, no. All right, no, 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 mind, no, no, mind. Same way. Mm. No, 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 mind. It's really supposed to be chrome heart versus Balenciaga, but I just threw something out there. Ah, trivia question number one. All right. Um, which... It's a multiple choice, so you can just, it'll be simple. Which designer never goes on sale? A, Gucci, B, Louis, or C, Prada? Prada. To me, 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 me to me, I'll never see Prada on sale before, never. No. I, don't, I don't know. Nah, you can you can go to Saks and get some Prada, and it well, will be on well, sale. Yeah, well, you third party, yeah. You can't you can't get you can't go anywhere else anywhere and get Louis. Louis, no, Louis and Louis Prada, not, yeah. Louis is not gonna be on sale. Even on on the, on the sites, I never see nothing on sale on Prada, right. or even Louis. So yeah, Gucci is like yeah, you can get sale anywhere. Gucci, they might stone dog with Gucci. <laughs> I'm being real. All right. As a Jamaican, yeah. Desert Clarks are a very popular shoe. Yeah. Can you tell me where this boot got its inspiration from? Oh my God. Hold on, I'm gonna give you the choices. A, England, mm -hmm. B, Egypt, mm -hmm. or C, Jamaica? Honestly, to me, it would have been a mix, mix answer between England and Jamaica. Because, can I tell you why? Yeah, before you can you tell give me. A, before yeah. you give me an answer. Yeah, yeah. All right. You see, when I look at you, I got prep school. You usually have a thing called Travel Fox. That is like the, 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 the father of Clarks. You see me? Once you're in a Travel Fox, you don't know the thing already. So, them time, them uncle them usually come down from England with beer, Travel Fox, and, uh, and Clarks, and them something there. So, my influence was actually from Jamaicans, road boy, you know what I mean? Yeah. And from my people, they come down and come give me the clocks and the travel fox them. So, yeah. Good attempt, good attempt. You, yeah. Jamaica and England is incorrect, both of them. Um, so the company clock started off in 1828 mm -hmm. by creating rugs out of sheepskin. Okay. However, it wasn't until 1950, mm -hmm. that's when they started to become popular. Okay. And the reason the that was their biggest um, fashion moment in the all of Clark's history at the time, from the 1800s. Yeah. And the reason for them getting inspired, um, it was a town in Egypt called Cairo. Cairo, yeah. Yeah. yeah when the British yeah, British yeah, army Cairo. went to Cairo, and they saw the natives there wearing a similar boot, and mm -hmm. the English brand Clark's, they mimicked. They got the inspiration, inspiration from Cairo. Inspiration from it, Cairo. So, yeah, basically. So it's from Egypt. Um, All right. Learn, you see, you learn something every day, brother. You see it? Yeah. Um, yeah, let's see this one here. All right. Here, let's see. Got you another one here. All right, put my for a trick question, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. I got. All right, you know, I'll give you something. I'll give you, I'll give you a curveball. I'll give you something a little light. See it? We do a nice interview, you know. <laughs> if I give you a curveball, I'll give you something easy. I'll give you something simple. I'll give you something simple. All right. Um. All right. You know Naomi Campbell. Naomi Campbell. Yeah. 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 Uh, fashion model, supermodel. Yeah, supermodel. Yeah. Beautiful young lady yeah. from England. Still can't get all yet. No. That's very good. Black don't crack people. <laughs> yeah. All right. And in, in um, 1987, mm -hmm. she was in the British Vogue magazine. Okay. All right. Um. 
Which fashion designer do you think that she wore in 1987 on the British Vogue magazine? Do you think it was A, Louis Vuitton, B, Chanel, or C, Prada? They said um, A, Louis Vuitton, B, Chanel, Chanel and C, C, Prada. Yeah. Um, that's a very hard one, people, but I, I don't know, you know, but I can guess. Um, I'll definitely say it's either between Chanel or Louis V. I can tell you that. Um, so I'll definitely say Chanel. You see, I throw you the curveball, man. So here at the closet section, we're not only here to entertain, we're here to inform and educate okay. at the same time, you know? Definitely. So we just want to give you, it's definitely Chanel in 1987. Okay. She wore all Chanel and she was one of the first black woman, black woman yes. to be featured exactly. into the magazine. They did have another one. I don't really have her name right now, but she was back in the 50s, but um, Naomi Campbell in our era was definitely. Yeah, we know one. Naomi has said it long time, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yo, Dangles, I definitely, I don't want to cut you short, but I yeah. want you to become our recurring guest here at the classroom section. We have anytime, man, I'm in, anytime when I want to invite my man, just tell me and I'm here. Because you don't know me like them, something here, you know what I say? This is what we need more in the community yeah. as a whole, because mm -hmm. me, they are reason the other day and we are reason some good things and you know me I say is a great look so anytime if I'm available you know me I say come is a man me, me all over the place brother you see me so you're definitely you a friend keep, of the show you know networking and stuff so For sure you're a friend of the show and we want you to come back um I want you to before you go mm -hmm. who would you recommend um or who do you have an idea that you would say you would like to see it on this podcast? On this podcast, in terms of like, 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 could be anybody celebrity, you anyone, or no, anyone you choose, or, anyone you choose. It can be a local person, can a be local person, someone in your Rolodex. It can be somebody on your socials. Anyone you choose. Who do you um, think that should be a, a good candidate to come on the show? To I do a podcast in terms of the 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 topic fashion or just anything in you general choose. anything you choose hmm um you know you know say all right in terms of fashion white i'll say mask or design i'll definitely say mask or design aka nikki because nikki are one of them person they were i do fashion for years now Mask yeah. or design? Mask or design. Local? Yeah, local. Yeah, ta Italian kid? No, Nikki? man. Oh. Italian kid, uh, there another name. He oh. uh, do it from Jamaica too. Yeah. As you know, you get me I say, so he would be a, 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 a nice person to sit here. But yeah, mask or design. Yeah, mask okay, or design okay, is okay. a female actually. Oh, okay. All right. You get Definitely. me I say, yeah, yeah, she do our music now. Okay, so okay. big ups to you. Yeah. Shout out Nasco. Masco Design. Masco Design. Masco. Yeah, you yeah, can man. find her on social media too. Definitely. And you know her too. Like a research. Nikki, like a... you know her. Like... You, you know me I say? Oh, me know her. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, okay, 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 yeah, okay. very, very, when she know certain things, when we are doing it at Jamaica too. So, yeah, and she was here and I was there. And you know me I say social media make a cross path with yeah. each other and stuff from them time from punk rock days. Right, right, right. Fans and suspenders and you know me I say so yeah. I'll i I think she would be a perfect person to sit down and talk about her views on fashion and she can talk about her music and yeah, you don't know. We have to spread the word. We have to do the thing. We we as a community, as we say. So, if we want to get out there, people know we we have to just click up with the right person and do the thing. Cause we're not gonna just do it for just stay in our art for it. We want to expand the thing. Definitely. All of us. If we are do this, some people are do fashion. Some people are do music. It have to start from somewhere. You get me? It's an yeah. open platform. I want you Basically. to shout out your social medias and all of your handles so people can. Oh yeah, to definitely. Find you. So um, social media. I only have Instagram, by the way, because I don't really. I'm not really a social piece of 
media person like that, but yeah, just because of the old fashioned thing, whatever. So my social media, my Instagram page is underscore dangles. That's D A N G L E S triple nine 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 underscore. And I also have a clothing page. Basically, we make a start my own brand, so everything I go post there. It's Heatwave Classic. The clothing line is Heatwave, and I'll be dropping very soon. You don't know a few look a T-shirt, nothing major. We just start out the thing, yeah. So yeah, you can actually see me there and follow me there. I'll follow back too. I ain't no stuck up guy. You get me? So and yeah, that's Heatwave. Heatwave. H E A T W A V E. You get me? I say Heatwave. Yeah. Yo, it's a pleasure to have you. Man. Yeah, my brother, man. Always, man. Yeah, Blessing, man. love, my hear that. Yeah, Good man. to go.